Hello students. Welcome back to Class 10 Mathematics, Chapter 3, Pair of Linear Equations in Two Variables. Today, we are going to do exercise 3.4 and it is all about the last algebraic method for solving a pair of linear equation two variable and the name of the method is cross multiplication method this is the last method cross multiplication method as the name suggests you may feel that there is some cross multiplication let us consider the general form of a pair of linear equation two variable the first equation a1x plus b1y plus c1 equal to 0. Second equation, a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0. Now we are going to learn by cross multiplication method how can we solve this pair of linear equation and find the values of x and y. I am going to write the coefficients of first and second equation in a special order. I am going to write the coefficients in this way b1, c1, a1, b1. Below that b2, c2, a2, b2. b1, c1, a1, b1, b2, c2, a2, b2. And here, in between the first and second, I am writing x. In between these two, I am writing y. In between these two, I am writing 1. Now, cross multiplication. That way this method is known as cross multiplication method. Now, cross multiplication between this and this, this and this, this and this. This and this, this and this, this and this. Means what? Now, we got the formula for finding the values of x and y. And the formula is made by cross multiplication. Listen here. x upon b1c2 minus b2c1 is equal to y upon c1a2 minus c2a1 is equal to 1 upon a1b2 minus a to b1 this is the formula to find the values of x and y using cross multiplication method either you learn how to get this equation or you by heart this formula both will do so I repeat this is the formula to find the values of x and y and this formula is actually derived by this method by cross multiplication method once again I repeat the formula x upon b1c2 minus b2c1 is equal to y upon c1a2 minus c2a1 is equal to 1 upon a1b2 minus a2b1. Now I will explain with an example using this formula how to calculate the values of x and y. 1. Now see exercise 3.5 question number 1. Which of the following pairs of linear equation has unique solution, no solution or infinitely many solutions? In case there is unique solution, find it by cross multiplication method. So first of all you have to check it, what kind of solution it may have, unique solution, infinitely many or no solution. 
You know the method by checking the values of a1 upon a2, b1 upon b2, and c1 upon c2. We will check what kind of solution it has. And in case it has unique solution, then only you have to solve the question. But solve it by cross multiplication method. Question number one. X minus 3y minus 3 is equal to 0. Equation number one. 3x minus 9y minus 2 equal to 0. Equation number 2. So first of all we have to check it. So for checking we need a1 upon a2. So here a1 upon a2 equal to 1 upon 3. b1 upon b2 equal to minus 3 upon minus 9 is equal to 1 upon 3. Since a1 upon a2 and b1 upon b2 are equal, we have to find c1 upon c2 also. c1 upon c2 equal to minus 3 upon minus 2 equal to 3 upon 2. Here a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2. Therefore it has no solution. So we need not, no, no, we need not repeat it. So let us see question number two. Question number two. Two x plus y is equal to five. 3x plus 2y is equal to 8. You can see one thing here. In this question, c1 and c2 are given in RHS. For finding a1 upon b2, b1 upon b2, c1 upon c2, no problem. c1 and c2 can be in RHS. But while using cross multiplication formula, you must remember C1 and C2 must be in LHS. So better we take C1 and C2 also to LHS to continue the work. So it can be written as 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 equation number 1. 3x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0 equation number 2. Now we will check it first. Here a1 upon a2 equal to 2 upon 3. b1 upon b2 equal to 1 upon 2. No need to continue now because we got a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2. a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2. Therefore it has unique solution. If it has unique solution, we have to solve it by cross multiplication method. So first part is checking. And wherever you get a1 upon a2 not equal to b1 upon b2, the system has unique solution. In case there is a unique solution, we have to solve it further. Now I am going to solve it by cross multiplication method. While doing the questions by cross multiplication method, better you write the individual values of a1, b1, c1 
a2 b2 c2 because we have to substitute these values in the formula so better you write the individual values here a1 equal to 2 b1 equal to 1 and c1 equal to minus 5 a2 equal to 3 b2 equal to 2 and c2 equal to minus 8 now I am going to use the formula directly the formula is x upon b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to y upon c1 a2 minus c2 a1 is equal to 1 upon <coughs> a1 b2 minus a2 b1 this is the cross multiplication formula now simply put the values by seeing the <coughs> above line that is x upon b1 c2 means 1 into minus 8 minus b2 c1 2 into minus 5 is equal to y upon c1 a2 minus 5 into 3 minus c2 a1 minus 8 into 2 is equal to 1 upon a1 b2 2 into 2 minus a2 b1 3 into 1 so substituting the values without any mis mistake is the most important part of this question formula is to be written correctly the values are to be substituted correctly now simplification x upon minus 8 minus minus 10 so minus 8 plus 10 is equal to y upon minus 15 again minus minus plus 60 is equal to 1 upon 4 minus 3 that is x upon 2 is equal to y upon 1 is equal to 1 upon 1 we got x upon 2 equal to y upon 1 is equal to 1 upon 1 after reaching this step this is the simplest step now more simplification is possible now we will take the first step that is x term and the last term constant term the last term is always constant there is no x and y in the last term so after reaching this simplest step now we will take first and last and cross multiply we will get the value of x in order to get the value of y we will take the second one and the last one and cross multiply you will get the value of y so taking the first and last x upon 2 equal to 1 upon 2 and cross multiply therefore x is equal to 2 so we got the value of x now you take the second one and the last one so we can write again y upon 1 is equal to 1 upon 1 cross multiply y is equal to 1 this is known as cross multiplication method of course the method is little lengthy but the two important thing first thing formula second thing substitute the values without making any mistake then simplify after getting the simplest last term take the first and last 
cross multiply you will get the value of x take the second term and the last term cross multiply you will get the value of y so this is all about cross multiplication method i am not doing the remaining part there are two more part questions in question number 1 all of you do it by yourself now see question number 2 for which values of a and b small letter a and b does the following pair of linear equations have infinite number of solution find the value of a and b for which the given pair of linear equation has infinitely many solution the equations are 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 a minus b into x plus a plus b into y is equal to 3a plus b minus 2 question number 2 the question is find the values of a and b you can see in the second equation there are a and b everywhere find the values of this a and b if this pair of linear equation has infinitely many solution you know the condition for infinitely many solution for infinitely many solutions the condition is a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is again equal to c1 upon c2. Now substitute the values. a1 upon a2 means 2 upon a minus b. b1 upon b2 3 upon a plus b. C1 upon C2, 7 upon 3A plus B minus 2. So there are two variables all through. We know that in order to solve a two variable equation, we require two separate equations. So now we have to split it and make two separate linear equation in A and B. How can we learn it? Taking the first one and the last one and cross multiplying, we will get equation number 1. Taking the second one and the third one and cross multiply, we will get equation number 2. So taking first and third, that is 2 upon a minus b is equal to 7 upon 3a plus b minus 2 and cross multiply. 2 into 3a, 6a plus 2b minus 4 equal to 7a minus 7b. Take 6a to that side, 2b also to that side. So 7a minus 7b, taking 6a and 2b to that side minus 6a minus 2b this minus 4 is also gone there plus 4 equal to 0 that is 7a minus 6a a minus 7b minus 2b minus 9b plus 4 equal to 0 let us take this plus 4 again to that side is equal to minus 4 this is equation number 1. Now I am going to cross multiply second and third. So, three upon a plus b is equal to seven upon three a plus b minus two cross multiply 9a plus 3b minus 6 equal to 
सेवन ए प्लस सेवन बी नाइन ए माइनस सेवन ए प्लस थ्री बी माइनस सेवन बी इक्वल टू सिक्स टू ए माइनस फोर बी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स टेकिंग टू कॉमन फ्रॉम एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस एंड कैंसलिंग इट विल बिकम ए माइनस टू बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू इज कॉमन इन एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस सो टू इज टेक एन कॉमन एंड कैंसल This is equation number two. Now, no particular method is mentioned in this question for further solving. The question is only find the values of a and b. So, as I told you in the previous class, the easiest method for solving a pair of linear equation is elimination method. So, I am going to solve it further by elimination method. So, already we have equation number two there. I am going to write. The first equation a minus nine b is equal to minus four below it and subtract it. Equation two minus equation one gives this will become minus this will become plus and this will become plus a minus a got cancelled minus two b plus nine b equal to Seven b, three plus four seven, b is equal to seven upon seven is equal to one. We got the value of b. After getting the value of any one variable, we will put it in any one of the equation to get the other value. So putting b is equal to one in Any equation, I am going to put it in equation number one. A minus nine b b is equal to one. So nine into one is equal to minus four. A minus nine is equal to minus four. A is equal to minus four plus nine or A is equal to five. The answer is A is equal to five and B is equal to one. This is a very important question. Several times this question is repeatedly asked in the board exam. So, very important question. All of you practice it several times. Question number two, second part. For which value of k, small letter k, will the following pair of linear equations have no solution? Previous one was infinitely many solution. Now, no solution. Find the value of k. There is only one variable. The question is three x plus y is equal to one. Second equation is two k minus one into x. Plus k minus one into y is equal to two k plus one. This is equation number two. Now the condition is having no solution. It is given that this system has no solution. Then find the value of k. So for no solution. The condition is a one upon a two is equal to b one upon b two, but not equal to c one upon c two. See, these two are equal but not equal with third, and we are asked to find the value of k. So substitute the values. That is three upon two k minus one is equal to b means one. B one means one. Upon k minus one is not equal to c one means one, c two means two k plus one. If we take this first and second and cross multiply, we will get an equation in k. 
On further solving it, we will get the value of x. Sorry, k. But if we take first and third or second and third, we are going to get an inequation. The sign in between will be not equal to. So we will be getting the answer of k in not equal to. So don't go for this because we will be getting the answer in not equal to form but we need the answer in equal to form. So we will proceed further by taking this first and second. So 3 upon 2k minus 1 is equal to 1 upon k minus 1. Cross multiply. 3k minus 3 is equal to 2k minus 1. 3k minus 2k is equal to minus 1 plus 3. 3k minus 2k, k is equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2. The answer is k is equal to 2. So in no solution, write the full formula for no solution but then neglect this last one because it is in not equal to form. We need the answer in equal to form. So substitute the values and after this step delete this. Take only first and second cross multiply you will get the value of k. So that's all for today. <coughs> the word problems of this exercise are left. There are so many so I am coming with these word problems in the next video. Till then please practice cross multiplication method. Thank you for watching this. Have a nice day. Please practice.